Hi, and welcome to Brems to Puzzles, and back to the World Puzzle Federation 2015 Round 7, created by the Italian Setters. This is an Arrow Sudoku that was created by Gabriel Simeonato, um, and this is a 35-point puzzle. So as you can see, there's a lot of given digits in this grid and not many arrows. I don't know how tricky this one is going to be. Um, we can find out together. So let's jump straight into the rules. So we've got normal Sudoku rules. So in every box, in every row, and in every column, the digits one to nine must be placed without repetition. And then some arrows are in the grid. The digit in the circle at the start of each arrow must be equal to the sum of the digits that appear along the path of the arrow. Digits can repeat within an arrow shape. They're the rules of the puzzle. It's standard arrows. It's just 10 year old wording for the rules. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. So I can immediately see down here because the um, minimum digits that could go on this are one, two, and three, this has to be six, seven, eight, or nine, and it can't be six, seven, or nine. So this is an eight. There must be a one on this, and it's either one, two, five, or one, three, four. And I'm not seeing what to do with that yet. But this is an eight, which puts eight in one of those two. Now, is it this arrow? I could see there must be a repeated digit along this arrow, because if there was no repeated digit along this arrow, the digits would be one, two, three, four, and this would need to be 10. But I don't think that's what I want to do yet. Nine is in one of those two. What's the minimum this could be? The minimum this could be is six with one, two, and one, two. Um, so this is six, seven, eight, or nine, and it's not six. So this is seven, eight, or nine. There is a seven in one of these two by Sudoku, but if this was a seven plus the minimum one, two, this would have to be 10. That's not the seven. That is the seven. So this is about high digits, probably. Six is right here by Sudoku because of the sixes looking into the box, which puts six in one of those two. Um... What's next? Two is in one of these two by Sudoku. Lots of stuff by Sudoku. Six is in one of those two. If that's a six, it could be two, four. Um, it could even be three, three, to be honest, because digits can repeat along the arrows. Minimum here is one is two, one, and one. So I'm not sure what to do there. This could be anything from four up. Two is in one of those two by, ah, oh, no, it's not. Two is here by Sudoku. So now the minimum here has been pushed up. The minimum here is one, four, because I can't use two or three. So that minimum here is five. The minimum here is three. So the minimum here is now eight. And there must be a one in these because the minimum here is five. If I didn't put a one in these two digits, the minimum here would be two, three, and we'd have uh, five and five, and this would need to be 10. There is a one in one of those two, which means there is a one in one of these two. And if there's no one on this arrow, the minimum here would be four and five. This would be a nine before I added those. That is the one. Great. Okay, I could probably do more here. Although this could be one, two, one, three. Well, this minimum here is four. So the minimum here is five. So the maximum here is four. So this is one, two, three. Oh, it's one, two, because one, two, one, two. This is one, two. So if this is, uh, um, this is three. So if, um, if this is eight, this is five. So this would be a four. This is four or five to make this total work because these sum to four. So to get to eight, I need another four. To get to nine, I need five. Okay. So three is not in any of those. This is a three. And these are four, five, and seven. There's no five there. There's no seven there. But that means these, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, not six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. These are an eight, nine pair. And the nine here makes this the eight and this the nine. Cool. I need to put a seven in one of those two for the row, and that seven is looking up saying not there. That's the seven. This is a triple, which is three, four, and eight. There is no eight there. Oh, and the three makes that the four, that the five. So these are six and three. So this is the nine. I suspected it would be, but I hadn't proved it yet. This is a three, eight. This is a one, two. I don't need the corner pencil marks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. These are four and seven. I got them from the row. I could have got them from the box. The four is looking at making that the seven and that the four. Now seven is in one of those two with the six by pencil marks. 
Excellent. The eight here is looking at making that the three and that the eight, putting eight in one of those, but I can't put eight here because the maximum here is eight. So eight is in one of those two. In fact, the maximum here is seven. So this is seven, five, four. I can't go down as low as three. I'm not even sure I can go down as low as four, but this is seven, five, four, because it can't be one or two. It can't be three, because the minimum is one, two plus one, and it can't be six, eight, or nine. So it's four, five, or seven. Uh, this is a six, nine, because of six, nine, and six, nine. So these are six and nine. Is this restricting this yet? Yeah, hang on. I can't do one, three, four on this eight arrow. So this is one, two, five, and there's no two there. Oh, there's no five in either of those. That's the five, that's the one, that's the two. There is no two here. These are actually three and four. And the four makes this the three and this the four. And to make this sum to six, that would be three and make it seven, that would be four. Five comes out of both of those. That's a four, seven pair. That becomes the five. In this column, I need one, two, and eight. Eight, one, nine doesn't work because I don't have a nine available for the box. So I've got the one, two pair in the column. That is eight, which means this is not the eight. This is the eight. And now eight is in one of those three cells and it's not in either of those. That's the eight, meaning this isn't the eight. This is the eight. Why had I taken eight out of there? Why had I taken eight out of there? Like if I roll this back to here, why had I limited that to six or seven? What was I thinking? I feel I must have done it for some reason. But I can't see what it was. Oh, because of 6767. Six, seven. Right. That's. That places the eights. That's really cool. So these are one and nine. That's trusting your pencil marks. And I didn't do it. I didn't trust my pencil marks. Can't put nine on the arrow. That's the one. That's the nine. These are one, three, and five. The one is looking down or across. So one is in one of those two. The three and the five is looking down, making that the one and that the three, five. So this is three, four, five. So I need to put a one in one of those two. That was really, really cool. I just missed it. This is three, four, five. Five is in one of those two, putting five in one of those two, but the five is looking down saying not there, that's the five. Let's look at this triple, shall we? Because it's one, two, nine. Well, I can't put nine on the arrow, so this is one or two. And this isn't one or two, this is the nine, this is a one, two. So this can't be a one or a two, so I can't do one, two, one for four. This is a seven. If this is one, one, that would need to be a five. It can't be. This is two. These sum to three. That has to be the four. The two makes that the one, meaning this is not the one. This is the one. This is three, four, five, and it can't be four. This is three or five. This triple, one, two, three, six, and seven. There's no seven there. There's no six there. That's the three. Taking three out of those, and I'll use the same six to make that the seven and that the six. The six looks across, making that the seven and that the six, which means it's three plus three. Taking three out of both of those, making that the five and that the four. This is now a word. The two made that one ages ago, and I just missed it. So this is the three, making that the four. This arrow wasn't needed, but if I'd paid attention to it, I could have got the solve faster. And considering these puzzles were made for speed solving, that's fine, but I'm not speed solving, so I'm also fine. Sorry, the, uh, the two looked up resolving the one, two. The four looked up resolving the seven, four. The three looks down resolving the five and the three. 
Um, this digit is the six that hasn't been placed in the column, making that the nine and that the six. These are the three and the five that haven't been placed, and the five makes that the three and that the five, and that is the correct solution to the arrow Sudoku. That was really cool. I liked that one. Good fun. Really good fun. I'm enjoying this series quite a lot. Um, this month is actually one that I've recorded over several weeks so far, and I know we're only like eight puzzles in, um, but I'm just recording when I can, um, and I'm literally recording months in advance, so it doesn't matter. Thanks everyone for watching. I hope you're enjoying the puzzles. I know I am, and as always, good luck with your solving.